Now, I will say this. Uh, much respect for Christopher Nolan bringing us the closest thing that we got to having a legit black, black James, James Bond. Bond. Yes, very much so. Because a large portion of this movie is just a James Bond flick with, with uh, uh, John David Washington doing some time-bending super spy stuff. Because mm-hmm. before this, the closest thing that we had, right before this closest thing that we had was a goddamn cartoon Will Smith. Hmm. And by the way, we didn't have that for very long either until they turned this black ass into a talking pigeon. <laughs> Look at you. I can see my butt and your face at the same time. That is so cool. Nah. <laughs> it was almost cool. Not to Corey. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't hate the movie or anything, but I was like, I mean, Will Smith's still in there. Yeah, it's still his voice. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, but at the five minutes at the beginning, five minutes at the end. Damn, boy, you can't even let the kids have no Black James Bond, man. But half this movie, half this movie is a, is a James Bond movie. As if James Bond stopped every 15 minutes to do quantum physics and shit. You know, and, and I got to tell you, man, this is Christopher Nolan's. This, this, this feels like an, an audition for a James Bond movie. And I, if, it, if it is an audition, give this man the job today. Oh, I honestly feel like he, he's already passed it and is past that. Because watching this, I was like, he has essentially made a James Bond movie, one where James Bond and Felix Leiter are just with each other together the whole time, and <clears throat> the villain they're fighting is a Russian who can control time. Oh, yeah. Dark Knight was a James Bond movie, but there are scenes in here that, I mean, if this, they, they, they are straight out of a James Bond movie, except probably better than any James Bond stunt or action scene you've seen in a long time. They got a bungee jumping scene. You saw in the trailer, they got a bungee jumping scene where they don't jump down, they jump up into a building. Now, there's no, this has nothing to do with anything with the story. I'm like, they rigged something. And so they could just jump up and do some super spy stuff and jump into a building. Um, John David Washington. Beats up some people with the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it casually, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if there were some plates, I'm in the place and just threw them in somebody's yeah. face. Pa- plates were fresh out the dishwasher, too. <laughs> it's like, what do you think? What do you think in fighting me when I got all this stuff around? Yeah, yeah. Man, I mean, he, Jay, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's one of the coolest fight scenes I've seen because he didn't, he didn't break a sweat. Mm-mm. He would just walk in and somebody tried to walk up on him, like, get the f away from me. It's so it's amazing. Uh, I have no doubt that like like Dark Knight was a, in portions a a, a a James Bond sure. movie. This is a James this is a James Bond movie for about half of the movie, man. Uh, but I would love to see him do one legit whole James Bond film uh, with somebody else's script, of course. Otherwise, James Bond would stop and start doing formulas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Start trying, trying to teach trigonometry and everything. <laughs> Reading books, trying to explain to people. Nah, just, just, just chicken. Just beat up some villains. Stop all this. Trying to be smart. Nobody want to see all that. It shows that Nolan. I, you know, with him doing all the James Bond stuff, it shows that Nolan is adept at doing all kind of levels of action, mm-hmm. of uh, you know, fight scenes, car chases. Yeah. Um, ex- you know, but but the thing. What, go ahead. Uh, Battle scenes. Bat battle scenes, yeah, man. Uh, but Nolan is such a great technical director. 